Well, three years ago, gone April, I had a stroke. I was very lucky. I knew I was having the stroke. I was in the house on my own and I dialed 111 and the lady could hear that I wasn't talking properly. Um, and within minutes, I had an ambulance out. My blood was thickening, which caused a clot. And that was, that was basically the cause of the stroke. Because smoking makes your blood get thicker and it clots a lot easier than normal blood. I should have stopped years ago. Um, just never happened. I do regret it now. I think how much money I would have saved over the years if I hadn't smoked and uh, health would have probably been better in the long run. You know, I think everybody should stop. It's not a, it's not a good thing. It is a social thing. It's not a good thing. And I wish I'd done it years ago. Having a daughter, a young daughter, does make you want to pack in more, definitely. Um, and, and say you're out for the day and you're a smoker, at some point in that day you're probably going to have a cigarette and she's going to see you're having a cigarette and I don't like that. I, I, I don't like her saying things like that and she, she knew that I smoked and she tells me that she's proud of me now for packing in smoking, which is kind of... Makes it, it's, it, that makes it worth your while, just that. I've got cancer and they thought cancer was spreading because I had a, some peculiarities in both the stomach and the chest. And it turned out that both those were totally disassociated with cancer. They were just infections and he suggested that uh, I stop smoking because that would help the infection in the chest and I was referred to the smoking clinic. I'm from a smoking family and because of that um, I grow up with smoking. I have uh, photographs uh, where I, when I was two, two years old child and I was smoking. <laughs> I have uh, cigarettes in, uh, for, uh, for fun. No, I don't want to go like that. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be another person like my dad, sitting on an oxygen mask gasping away from my breath, you know, with a cigarette in one hand and the oxymats in the other, you know, sitting in the chair, unable to get out, unable to get up to my allotment because it takes too much energy to walk a few hundred yards up my allotment, being too unwell to look at me potatoes, etc. And that is how I will end my days if I don't stop smoking. And that's a fact. Thank you.